Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Freedom Friday this morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, prayer governors. Welcome to this virtual portal of prayer. My name is Rutendo Melody Gambiza, and this is House of Hosting Heaven. We are a prayer movement. We meet every morning between 6.30 and 7.30 a.m. S-A-S-T. Convert that to whatever time zone you are connecting from and set a reminder. If you have been looking for a prayer family, you have just found your prayer family. Hello, somebody. Right in the middle of the year, right in the middle of the year, the Lord says, I got you a community that is going to help you pray. I'm excited in my spirit this morning. How many of you know what day it is? Just type it in the comments, type it in the comments, type it in the comments, type it in the comments. Hey, come on, somebody. What day is it? What day is it? What day is it? That's right. Freedom Friday, Freedom Friday. Welcome to our Freedom Friday sessions. If you are new here, on Fridays, we specifically deal with areas that are in connection with deliverance. We specifically deal with topics that deliver you in the mind, in the soul, in the spirit. And so I'm super excited because we have been uh, on a journey. This is our second week on a series called Binding the Strong Man. Binding the Strong Man. If you were not here last week, I want to highly encourage you to go on our YouTube platform. It's called House of Hosting Heaven. House of Hosting Heaven. And I want you to go check out our first installment of that series, Binding the Strong Man, where we spoke extensively about resisting the devil. Resisting the devil. And essentially what we're talking about is when you are on a journey to bind a strong man in your life. Um, and a strong man is essentially the enemy, the enemy in your life. Any place where the enemy has taken ground over your life, you have the right to take back. And last week we were, last week we were specifically focusing on resisting the devil as a weapon to bind the strong man. Resisting the devil, that's the first thing you do. When you want to take back any ground the enemy has taken from you, the first thing you do is you resist the devil. I don't know how many of you were here last Freedom Friday, but it was an exciting time in the presence of the Lord. And I pray that the Lord gave you a holy anger, a holy agitation concerning your situation, uh, that, that you have the power to resist the devil. You have the power to tell the enemy, not on my watch. You have the power to tell him, listen, I am no longer sitting in this situation as status quo. I am no longer accepting this as my life. I choose to resist you. And scripture says that when we resist the devil, he is to flee from us. That is what the Bible says, that when we resist him, he has to flee from us. This is what, what God tells us. And so, and so when you resist the enemy, he knows exactly what to do. You might be a bit antsy and a bit shaky about what's going to happen when I resist the devil, but 
He knows what he's meant to do when you resist him. He is meant to flee from you. And the second thing I want us to focus on today is take taking up legal ground. So now that you have res resisted the devil, the second thing you want to do is to you, you to do is to take up legal ground. I'm seeing people saying that there is a uh, network issues. Let me know if you can hear me well and let me know if you can see me well. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Hosts. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, somebody says it's freezing. The network is freezing. Oh, from wherever you are, just begin to pray for our broadcast this morning. Just pray for our broadcast this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be to the Lord God Almighty. Somebody says it's better now. Let me know if you can hear me now and you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me clearly and let me know if you can see me clearly. Lando Kosira Vasa. Somebody says the network is okay. Someone says it's good now. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Please give us the grace to hear this word this morning. In the name of Jesus. So the first thing that you do when you're binding the strong man is you resist the devil. The second thing that I want us to focus on today is taking up legal ground legal ground taking up legal ground that's right prayer governors there is a particular politician in our in our current country of residence and many of you probably know this gentleman and one of the phrases that is very popular that this gentleman loves to repeat is i am in charge here <laughs> I am in charge here. <laughs> no, don't worry about me. I am in charge here. Hello, somebody. Many of you know him by name. I, I, will, I will not mention any names, but many of you know him right here in South Africa. He says, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> now, every time I hear him say that statement, he says it in the flesh, but I hear him in the spirit. <laughs> I hear him in the spirit. I hear him by way of the spirit. Who am I speaking to this morning? He says, I'm in charge here. And this is the posture I want some of you to begin to take when you come out of this broadcast on this Freedom Friday. I want you to say, I am in charge. I have legal ground. I have legal ground here. Ah, I have legal ground here. I have legal ground here. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but there is somebody you have been in a situation and the way you have been navigating around that situation, the way you have been moving around that situation, it is as though you are someone that does not have legal ground. Uh-huh. It is as though you are someone that doesn't have power over that circumstance. It is as though you are somebody that doesn't have power over that situation. But I want you to know that you are in charge. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone says even our U Ugandan president says that. I, I, I love that statement. I'm in charge. I'm in charge is a statement that is professed by somebody that understands their legal ground. That understands the kind of control they have over the ground they are standing on. I'm in charge. I want you to type it prophetically. I'm in charge. Now, prayer governors, the issue of ground, for you to fully understand it, you would have to study scripture from the book of Genesis. Now, we don't have a lot of time today, but I'm going to do my best to give you an understanding and an appreciation of where legal, when legal ground was taken and when legal ground was given back. Uh, in the book of Genesis, we have an appreciation of how we lost our legal ground to the enemy in the Garden of Eden. We have an appreciation of the story that took place between Eve and the serpent. 
We have an appreciation of the fact that the enemy came in the Garden of Eden while Adam was not around and he was able to deceive Eve. And through that deception, Eve deceives. And God says, because of the disobedience, you will have to toil for everything you have. To Eve, he says, you shall, you, even in childbirth, childbirth shall be difficult. Any person that's on the, on the labor bed, I, I'm sure they think about Eve at some point. Cause, because girl, listen, girl, listen, 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 listen. This is all your fault. <laughs> because of the disobedience, ground was taken from man. Legal ground to prosper in the land that God had given them was taken from man because of disobedience. Even the earth itself, it suffered the consequences of this disobedience. The earth was told to not yield the fruit that it was meant to yield to us. In such a way that the way the, the man had to toil for anything to come out of the ground of the earth. It was more than what was intended by God. But when we continue to go in through scripture, when we come to the New Testament, there is a new Adam that is introduced in the form of our Lord Jesus Christ. That came to rewrite the wrongs that were done in the Garden of Eden. I'm talking about taking legal ground. This new Adam, the second Adam, comes to redo the disobedience that was done in the garden of Eden where our legal ground was taken from us. In the garden of Eden, uh, 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 dominion, uh, 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 the, the earth, it is almost as though it was handed over to the enemy. He becomes the prince of, this, the, prince of the air. Uh, 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 Satan even, even in the New Testament says all authority. And power, yeah, 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 yeah. It gets me excited in my spirit. I, I, I am in charge here. I am in control here. Not because of my own doing. Not because I'm all wise and all powerful, all knowing. No, because Christ came to set the record straight. So when you are resisting the strong man, the first thing you do is you resist. When you, when you are binding the strong man, the first thing you do is you resist the devil. You resist the devil. You tell him, I have seen you and I resist you. I've seen you in my marriage. I resist you. I've seen you in my finances. I resist you. I've seen you in my business. I resist you. I am seeing you in my body, in my health. I resist you. And scripture tells me that when I resist you, you are to flee. The second thing you do is that you take up your legal position. You take up your legal ground. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You take up legal ground comfortably so. You take up your legal ground in all, in all comfort. I am in charge here. I am in charge here. I'm going through some things in corporate, but I am in charge here. I am going through some things in my health, but I'm in charge here. I am taking my legal ground. Prayer governors, when the cross came, we gained back our legal ground. That which we lost in disobedience, we gained it back through Christ's obedience. Who am I speaking to this morning? Uh, uh, Freedom Fridays are always difficult with network. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. We're going to preach this word today. Let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can hear me properly. Let me know if you can see me properly. Let me know if you can hear me and let me know if you can see me well. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the comment section, just type uh, if you can hear me and if you can see me. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Hosts. Kaleba Sakaniando Seravasa. Let me know, let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, 
Glory to God. I see some people saying we can hear you. We can see you now. I pray that the network cooperates with us this morning. So ground that we lost because of our disobedience. Ground we lost because of our disobedience in the Garden of Eden was given back to us because of Christ's obedience. So when I talk about the fact that I have legal ground in my house, that if I see the enemy, I have legal grounds to kick him out. It is because of the work of the cross. Ay, 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 ay. It is because of the work of the cross. It is because of what Christ has done. Woman of God, what is legal ground? It is the foundation of one's actions. I am capable of telling the devil to get out of my house because, because I have legal ground. It, the, the foundation of my actions is what was done on the cross of Calvary. I have legal ground. Legal ground is a course of action you choose to take founded upon the law. The course of action I'm choosing to take in this matter is 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 because i know it is founded upon upon the law I, it is founded upon what christ has done prayer governors when you have no legal ground you lack an argument or support a, a, in a legal situation which means your accusations or your commands are unfounded but i want you to know that any time that you stand in your marriage and you tell the devil to go you have legal ground your accusations are founded ah your declarations are founded they are founded on what christ has done for you but prayer governors as with any law it only works for you if you know it as with any any law it only works for you if you stand on it as with any law it only works for you if you exercise it so so you are on this broadcast do you know that you have legal ground in the area that you are struggling with legal ground only works if you know it that you have legal grounds and if you stand on it and if you exercise it, there are some of you right now, you went through unfortunate circumstances. Maybe you were in corporate. You were unfairly dismissed. And you didn't know your rights. So you didn't stand on your rights and you didn't exercise your rights. Years later, you share your story and people tell you, listen, you could have gone to the CCMA. You could have gone to the small, small claims court. You could have taken these people to court. But because you didn't know that you had legal ground, you didn't stand on it and you didn't exercise it. You didn't exercise your power. I have a mandate this morning to get someone to a place where they begin to exercise their power in that corporate space, where they begin to exercise their power in that business, where you begin to exercise your power as a believer in your finances, where you begin to exercise your legal ground in your relationships, in your children's life, in your marriage. The Lord wants you to know that you have legal grounds. You can take the enemy to the bank today. You can take the enemy to the courts today. You can have him judged. You can resist him and he must flee. And you can take up space in your home. Once again, you have legal ground. I have a mandate this morning from the courts of heaven to tell you that you have good ground to stand on as a child of God. When you desire for the strong man in your life to be bound. God supports your freedom. You have good grounds to stand on, child of God. When you desire for the strong man that you have been fighting with, that you have been contending with in your life to be bound, you are standing on good ground. Not because of anything you have done, but because of the work that was done on the cross of Calvary for you. 
I always find it strange when believers, anytime any frustration or struggle happens in their life, the first thing they do is to look for reinforcement. You look for someone to pray with you. You immediately call your pastor. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how, how much your pastor loves you. If every time something happens in your home, you give him a call. You are, you are just proving to him that you have no appreciation of the fact that you actually have legal ground over specific areas in your life. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Now, your pastor is a pastor. He has the heart of a shepherd. He will never be able to tell you, listen, I need you to grow up. <laughs> I, I need you to grow up. Ma'am, I need you to grow up. I need you to learn what you possess. I need you to learn that you have power and authority as a believer over your marriage. You can't say every time that you are struggling with your husband, you call me. Hello, somebody. Some of us, some of us, we are friends to people that call us about anything and everything. My house. Hey, I'm in charge in my marriage. If there is a mess that the enemy is trying to, to work out in my marriage, I'm in charge here. If I find a witch in my house at night, I'm going to give them a run for their money. <laughs> Because I understand legal ground. I have legal ground. I have legal authority in my home. I have legal authority in my marriage. I have legal ground in my child's life. If my little boy falls sick, I'm in charge here. I am laying hands on that little head. I am taking some oil from my kitchen. I am putting it on that little forehead. I am casting out some demons because I'm in charge here. If I begin to see a shift in atmospheres, a shift in moods in my marriage, if I begin to start sensing that there is, there is wickedness, uh, that the enemy is trying to work in my marriage, bef before I, I escalate the matter, I am in charge here. I am in charge here. I, 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 I want somebody to get to a place where they recognize that God has given you authority and power to walk in on scorpions and snakes and nothing will harm you. I want you to appreciate that you are work, walking in a certain dimension of power. I want you to appreciate that God has given you power and authority over everything that he has entrusted in your hands. I, 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 you are in charge. You have legal ground over a child that carries your surname. You have legal ground over a child that carries your blood. You can speak that child into order in prayer. You can speak that child into order. If I know everything about your story, everything about your family, everything about your children, because you are constantly asking me to pray for you when anything and everything happens in your life. It means you have no revelation about legal ground. If you are constantly knocking on your pastor's door, anything ha happen that when anything happens in your life, it means you have no appreciation as a believer of your legal grounds. This is my legal jurisdiction. This small corner of the world the, the Lord gave to me. This small corner and portion of the world the Lord assigned in my name. I, 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 I chose to work to, 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 to work on, on understanding the legal ground I have over everything God has given to me in stewardship. Oh, I want to provoke somebody this morning that has been walking and your life has always been about looking for reinforcement. Every matter you must look for a prayer partner. Every matter you must take it to your pastor. Every matter you must look for a, a spiritual list. Every matter you must look for a voodoo, voodoo doctor. Every matter you are looking for a sangoma. You are looking for a traditional healer. You are always constantly looking for reinforcement. I am sent on Monday this morning to tell you that you are in charge. You must take up legal ground in your life. God has given you legal jurisdiction that is called your own.
I went to the police one time. I was looking for an affidavit. affidavit. There was some documentation I was putting together and I needed an affidavit. And they say to, to, to me, ma'am, there, there is something called legal jurisdiction. Legal jurisdiction is when a, a, a specific police area is assigned to a specific jurisdiction. Which means we are, we, are, we are in charge in a specific area. This is our area of charge. We are in charge here. But if you are outside of your jurisdiction, sometimes even the police has to tell you, unfortunately on this matter, we cannot assist you because it is outside of our jurisdiction. But if it is within our jurisdiction, we will go above and beyond. Some of you, you are in your legal jurisdiction and you don't even know it. Some of you, you are in ground God has already given you and you don't even know it. Some of you, it is so easy for you to cast the devil and the strong man out of that place because it has your name on it. It is your legal jurisdiction and you have legal grounds to tell whatever wickedness, whatever wrong is happening in that space to vacate and it must vacate because you have legal jurisdiction but you have never exercised it. Constantly looking for reinforcement. You have never grown from a child to a mature adult as a believer. Always looking for someone to pray for you. Always looking for someone to lay hands on you. I am sent on assignment to feed you with holy anger this morning. With a holy agitation in your spirit this morning. I am sent on assignment this morning to feed you with a stubbornness in your spirit. That says I'm going to get this story sorted on my own. I'm going to fix this matter on my own. This is my legal ground. I have legal jurisdiction here and God has given me victory and it is up to me to enforce it. Woo! Let me tell you something. That, that strife in your corporate office space. Every time you step into the department, it looks like people have seen something that is rotten. They hate you in that workplace. I want you to take your legal ground in that space. I want you to walk in that place today with a different kind of attitude. I want you to say, this is, this is legal ground God has given me. This is my legal jurisdiction. The moment I signed that contract and I stepped into this role, I have legal ground over this place. God, help me fight this matter. God, help me contend this matter. You have been in that marriage for so long. And yet you have been seeking other people to pray for that marriage for you. Do you know that you have more legal ground in your marriage than anyone else? Do you know you have more legal ground in your marriage than anyone else that can pray for you? As servants of God, we can step in as reinforcement. Corporate prayer is powerful. But that's why every time when you step on this altar of prayer, I tell you pray for your household. Because it is your legal jurisdiction and you have legal ground over your husband, over your wife, over your children. You have more legal ground than anyone else. God bless you gathering. God bless you Ailey. In the name of Jesus. There are places where you have more legal ground than anyone. Children that have your blood in their veins. You are telling me you no longer what, know what to do with them. And you expect someone that doesn't have the same blood flowing inside of, the, of, of these kids to have more legal ground than you. Not on, my, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Concerning my husband, if there is issues in my marriage, I have more legal ground in that marriage than anyone else. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, Michelle. It's Freedom Friday today. We're going to do a little bit of fighting here. Uh, the Bible says when, 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 when two come together in marriage, they become one. You're trying to tell me a man that I am one in covenant with. When my, when God sees my husband and God sees me, he sees one person. And you're trying to tell me a man who is one with me in the eyes of God, that I am outsourcing 
the prayers. I am outsourcing the fasting. I am outsourcing the laying on of hands. No, 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 baby. Not on my watch. I, I am in charge here. I am in charge here. You're trying to tell me the business I registered, the name I conceived and thought of and registered, the name God gave me, the vision God gave me, the business I established, the business that has my DNA running inside of it, the idea that God gave to me and I produced and brought to life. I am bringing in a traditional healer, a voodoo doctor to work on it. No, 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 no. This is my legal jurisdiction. This, this is legal ground I have, I have been given. I am the core steward. I am the chief steward of this business. I want somebody to start walking around calling themselves a chief steward. If God gave me this marriage, uh, uh, this is my legal ground. Uh, if God gave me this business, this is my legal ground. If these finances are my own, if this bank account has my name on it, I have authority and I have power to speak to it in authority, to speak to it as one who is in control. I'm in charge here. By the time I call up reinforcement, you must know that things are very heavy. <laughs> by the time you call up reinforcement, by the time you call up your friends, they must know things are difficult. They must know you have done your best. They must know you have tried. But from today onwards, I don't want you waking up your pastor at two in the morning, asking him to pray for small, small little things. You have legal ground. That your legal jurisdiction you have authority and power as a believer begin to charge up and mount up in the spirit and cast and bind that strong man out of town we are talking about dealing with a strong man first of all you resist the enemy secondly you take up your legal position Ay -ay 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 you take up your legal position as one who has been given authority because of what happened on the cross of Calvary. Prayer governors, some of you, God is calling you to give the enemy a good run for his money. The enemy already knows that this one is a pushover. They don't know their authority. They don't know that this is their legal jurisdiction. They don't know that they have legal grounds on the matter. They don't know the constitution. They don't know the law of the land. And therefore, they're always looking for help because they don't know they have the power within them to cast me out. There is somebody on this broadcast. God is calling you this morning. To give the enemy a good run for his money. For that situation you are in. Kick the devil out of town. Ay, 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 ay. And when he goes back and gives a report. It must be known in the corridors of the spirit. That this one understands who they are in the spirit. Uh, it, there must be a rumor about you spoken in the spirit. That concerning this one's household. They know who they are in their household. They know who they are in their marriage. They have a revelation that many people don't about their legal ground. They must go back with a good report. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That concerning this one, you must, you must look for very, 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 uh, very sophisticated strategies because this one has an appreciation of their legal ground in the matter. You have a say in the matter. You have grounds in the matter. You have arguments to stand on in the matter. I want you to know that God is in support of your freedom. Galatians 5 verse 1 says, It was for this freedom that Christ set us free, completely liberating us. This is what the Amplified Version says. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to the yoke of slavery, which you once removed. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. I want you to know that you have legal grounds because Christ supports your, your freedom. You have legal grounds to stand on in that issue that you are battling with. The Bible says it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. 
prayer governors, the legal system of the kingdom you belong to fully supports you if your desire is to be free, is if your desire is to be released from the strong man. Remember, we are talking about binding the strong man. The legal system, the courts of heaven this morning support you because you said, I want to get out of this addiction. I am tired of being bound by the enemy. I am tired of leaving this marriage. I have never experienced marital bliss. God says, I support you. It is for freedom that I came to set you free. I want you to know that in the courtroom of heaven, the legal system of, the, of that courtroom uh, 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 fully supports your freedom. And if you desire to be free, you have legal grounds to lay claim for that freedom. And you can bind the strong man in your life. Woman of God, don't I need to be a prayer warrior? Don't I need to have 10 years experience in prayer? Don't I need to have a diploma in deliverance for me to, to get my marriage out of the situation it is? No, baby. You need to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> you need to believe in the Lord. It is a package of salvation for you to bind the strong man. It is a package of salvation for you to walk in authority and power. It comes with the package of salvation. There are some of you, God is looking at all this ammunition that is available for you because you are a believer, but you have never used it. Prayer governors, freedom is the atmosphere the spirit of God lives in. Everywhere the spirit of God arrives, he brings with him freedom. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 27, it says, Now the Lord is spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Which means everywhere where the Holy Spirit is, there is freedom. Can you imagine that there are people encountering the presence of God on this altar every morning? But yet still they are not free. Can you imagine that there is somebody, prayer governors, that has been praying with us since beginning of the year, but because they don't understand their legal ground, their legal jurisdiction, they don't have an appreciation that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. They encounter the spirit of God every day on this altar of prayer, and yet still they are not free. It is for freedom that Christ set you free. I want you to bear in mind that heaven's constitution, heaven's constitution supports your legal right to freedom. This right here is heaven's constitution. It supports you binding the strong man. It supports your freedom. It is, it is, it is in agreement with your freedom. You are struggling with that situation. I want you to know that heaven's constitution supports your legal right to freedom. After what happened on the cross of Calvary. Right here. This is my legal ground. Uh, anything I have ever struggled with in my life, I went here. I went here and I looked for my legal grounds. Uh, when I understood that I was fighting something that I wasn't meant to be fighting, I opened this constitution and, and I looked for my legal ground. Some of you, you have had this constitution closed for way too long in your homes. God is calling you this morning to open the constitution of heaven and find your legal ground on the matter. Ay, 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 ay. God bless you, Moody, our new subscriber. Some of you, you have had this constitution closed for too long. Your legal, your legal rights are in here. Your legal ground on the matter is in here. Who am I speaking to this morning? So heaven's constitution, the Bible supports your legal right to freedom in the issue you are struggling with. Woman of God, I am knee deep in debt. What does the constitution say? What is your legal ground on the matter? What is your legal ground on the matter? The Bible says you shall lend to nations and you shall borrow to none. You shall borrow from none. The Bible says your father owns silver and gold. 
The Bible says he owns cattle on a thousand hills. The Bible says you're a co-heir with Christ, which means that you have a right to the storeroom of heaven. The Bible says if you test the Lord with your tithe, he will open up the windows of heaven and he will pour out a blessing so heavy you won't be able to contain it. You have legal ground on the matter. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The Bible says a poor man, even if he gives advice, nobody listens. But if God has called you to influence, why are you poor? You have legal grounds on the matter. You can, you, you can, you can claim your legal grounds on the matter. Father, silver and gold are yours. Father, you own cattle on a thousand hills. Father, the earth is yours in all its fullness. Father, your word says money answereth to all things. How come I have many questions and no answers? <laughs> there are some of you you are you, you you have legal ground but you don't like using it you just want to continue asking people to pray for you to lay hands on you to declare miracle money on you i have legal grounds that's why i said if a, if a witch walks into my house the bible says suffer not a witch to leave i have legal grounds <laughs> depending on how i'm feeling on that day you could die in my house hey uh, the bible says suffer not a witch to leave hey 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 if i'm feeling generous i'll tell you to walk back and never come back walk back where you came from uh, if I'm feeling generous on that day, I will tell you, repent now and receive the Lord Jesus. But I have legal ground. Who am I speaking to this morning? The Bible says concerning your marriage that two become one. The Bible even says, it, it even goes on to, to warn that if you become one, if you, if you sleep with a harlot, you become one with her. Which means that when there is a conjugal exchanges that take place, there is a, there is a, a merging of spirits that take place. You're trying to tell me you're struggling to pray for somebody that carries, that carries fragments of your spirit. You are one with this man and you have already started subcontracting the praying of this marriage to others. No, I'm in charge. I have legal grounds on the matter. The Bible says God hates divorce, which means that when I'm praying, God is in support of my prayers concerning my marriage. I'm in charge here. <laughs> Binding the strong man. What are you struggling with in your life? When last did you open the constitution of heaven and, and search your legal rights concerning the matter? When, when last did you open the scriptures and and search them your, your legal rights concerning the matter you have been having so many struggles in corporate but the bible says a worker deserves their pay why are you struggling to get your bonus that you were owed six months ago you have legal grounds to open the, the constitution of heaven and say the Bible, according to the word of God, a worker deserves their pay. Why have I not been paid by my boss? Why have I not been paid by, by people that I supplied goods to in my business? A worker deserves their pay. Uh, who am I speaking to today? You have legal grounds on the matter. You have legal grounds on the matter. I'm talking about taking up legal ground. When you're binding the strong man, take up legal ground. First Colossians 22 verse 23 says, Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your mind because of your evil behavior, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation there is somebody right here the enemy accuses you anytime you try to exercise any authority in your christian journey anytime you try to lay hands on your child the enemy says to you but you are you are a hypocrite anytime you try to pray for your mar marriage the enemy says to you but you gossip 
Anytime you try to exercise any authority in your, in your life, any authority in your walk with Christ, the enemy reminds you of your past. The enemy reminds you of your weaknesses. The enemy reminds you of certain things that you are still working and grappling with in your life. Somebody on this broadcast, you have not been able to receive what I've been saying from the very beginning because the enemy is always condemning you. But the, the word of God says today in the book of Colossians, once you were alienated from God, not today. Hey, come on somebody. I was once alienated from God and I was an enemy in my mind because of my behavior. But now that he has reconciled me by Christ's physical body through death, he presents me wholly in his sight. God, God reconciled me to himself. He presents me as holy in his sight. When, 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 when God looks at me, he looks at me through the lens of what happened on the cross of Calvary. I by nature don't deserve the mercies. I by nature don't deserve the power and the legal ground he gives me. But he looks at me through the lenses of what was done on the cross of Calvary. I want to tell somebody to start working on exercising your power and authority as a believer. I want you to start standing in your legal ground. I want you to start taking up legal ground. I want you to start exercising your authority in your legal jurisdiction. God looks at you without blemish, free from accusation. This is what 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 1 verse 22 to 23 says. I'm not perfect. But if you come, if you come for my marriage, I'm giving you a run for, my, for your money. Devil, I am not perfect, but if you come for my business, I'm giving you a run for your money. I'm not perfect. I, 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 God looks at me through the lenses of what happened on the cross of Calvary. He has presented me unto himself without blemish. I'm not perfect, but if I'm in corporate and I'm struggling, I'm praying the devil out of town. Because I have legal grounds, not because of my perfection. No. Because of the work that was done on the cross of Calvary on my behalf. Scripture says you are standing. Prayer governors, I want you to know that you are standing on good foundation to kick the strong men out of your health, out of your mind, out of your marriage, out of your finances, out of your household, out of your ministry. You are standing on good ground. And that foundation, that ground is Christ the Lord. But unless you know you have legal rights, unless you know you, you, you know your legal position, unless you are familiar with your rights, according to scripture, the enemy will always think you are a playground. He will always bully you around in the corridors of your destiny because you don't know how to take up legal ground. A lot of believers, prayer governors, are tricked by the enemy into believing that they have no say in the matter. A lot of believers are tricked into believing that they have no authority in the matter. A lot of believers are tricked into believing that they have no power and authority on the matter. That you have no power to say no to that addiction. That you have no power to say no to that struggle. That you have no power to say no to that mess you are in. But I want you to know that God has given you legal grounds. Because of what happened on the cross of Calvary. That's not true. You have legal grounds. You have legal grounds to resist the devil. You have legal grounds the, to bind the strong man in that situation. You have legal grounds to take up. Uh, legal your legal take back your legal jurisdiction because what adam and eve lost in the garden because of disobedience we gained back through christ's obedience on the cross you can bind a strong man in that area you are struggling with today you can bind a strong man you can bind a strong man Scripture tells us that you are seated with Christ far above all powers, all principalities, all might, all dominion and every name that is named. How did this happen when you received Christ? You began to sit with Christ far above all the challenges 
that you have been going through. I want you to take that as a revelation. I want you to know I am seated with Christ. I am seated with Christ far above any struggle I'm going through in corporate. I have legal grounds. I have legal grounds over the matter. I have a say over the matter. I have a say over the matter. I have a say over the matter. The scripture also then goes to say, I am seated not only with Christ far above principalities and powers and might and dominion and every name above every, every other name. I am not only seated with Christ, I am seated in Christ. Oh, come on, somebody. As scripture says in Ephesians 2, verse 4 to 6, it says, But God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were in our trespasses, even when I'm a little bit messed up, he made us alive together with Christ. Can you imagine the mercy of God making you alive together with Christ? It says, by grace you have been saved and raised up together and made to sit together with Christ in heavenly places. I want you to, to know that you are sitting with Christ and you are also sitting in Christ. Which means you are covered. Prayer governors, I, 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 there, is a, there, is, there is a place known as in Christ where I sit. There is a place known as in Christ where you sit. There is a place known as in Christ where we legislate from. That's why when we are on this prayer altar, we are legislating. We are making declarations. We are declaring certain things concerning our households because we are seated in Christ. My boast is not in my own power. I boast in the fact that I am in Christ. I am covered. I have legal ground to bind the enemy. I am above all powers. I am above all principalities. I am above all dominions and any name given to anything on this earth. In Christ, I have an argument. In Christ, I have an argument over the matter. What is that thing you have been going through? You have an argument. You have a worthy argument. You have legal jurisdiction over that, ma ma over that matter. I want you to know this morning that the blood speaks, to you, speaks for you. I want you to know that the blood speaks for you and you have legal ground over that situation you are going through. In Christ, you are supported in battle. There is somebody on this broadcast all your life. You, all you have known is to look for reinforcement in prayer. All you have known is to give your issues to people to pray for you. You don't pray because you don't believe you are worthy. You don't pray because you don't believe that you have legal rights. You have legal ground. You have legal jurisdiction over your, your own issues. But this morning, my mandate was very simple. God wanted you to know that you have a say in the matter. God wanted you to know that you have a say in the matter. God wanted you to know that you have legal grounds. God wanted you to know that you have a legal ground in your marriage to call it to order. God wanted you to know that you have legal grounds in your business to call it to order. God wanted you to know that you have legal ground in your finances to call your finances to order. God wanted you to know that you have, a le you have legal ground as a parent to call your child's mind back into order. You can call your your, your the situation your child is going through into order. Binding the strong man. Prayer governors, for you to bind the strong man, number one, you have to learn how to resist the devil. The Bible says when you resist him, he flees from you. The second thing you have to learn to know how to do is to take up your legal ground. There is somebody on this broadcast this morning that has gotten so agitated that they are about to take up legal ground. They are about to take up their legal ground. God, I didn't know that you had given me authority. God, I didn't know that you had given me power. God, I didn't know that I had a say in the matter. God, I didn't know that there is power and authority for me to speak into this issue. And it must, it must, it must cooperate. This morning as we are praying, I want you to take up your legal position in the spirit. You are seated with Christ far above that issue.
You are seated with Christ, far above that power. You are seated with Christ, far above the strife in your marriage, far above the struggles you have been experiencing in corporate, far above that disease. If it has a name, you are above it. You are seated with Christ. Take up your legal position. I want you to take up your legal position this morning uh, in your business. You are seated in Christ and with Christ. God bless you in due season. Our new subscriber. We have three small prayer points today, prayer governor. The first prayer point, I want you to pray with me. I want you to say, Father, give, give me a revelation of my legal ground. Give me a revelation of my legal ground. Give me a revelation of my legal ground so I can take up my legal ground in the spirit. I want you to lift up your voice prayer governor and say, Lord, I have been taunted by the enemy for too long. I have been frustrated by the enemy for too long. Give me a revelation of my legal ground in the spirit. Help me open up my eyes so I am fully aware of the kind of authority I possess in the spirit concerning this matter. If it is a financial matter, give me revelation of my legal ground on it. If it is a health issue, give me a revelation of my legal ground on the matter. If it is an issue in your marriage, in your relationships, give me a revelation of my legal ground. If you are battling generational curses, Father, give me a revelation of my legal ground on this matter. My parents couldn't fight it. My forefathers couldn't fight it out. But give me a revelation. Make me the Joseph of my family. I want to contend over this matter. I want to take up my legal ground and I want to deal with this issue once and for all. Give me a revelation of the legal grounds I possess concerning this matter. We struggle with abortions in our family, with, 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 uh, with, with premature deaths in our family. Give me, give me a revelation of my legal grounds on the matter. Because I want to I wanna kick the devil out of town. Uh, we struggle with getting married in our family. Give me a revelation of my legal grounds on the matter. I want to kick the devil out of my bloodline. We struggle with divorces in my family. Father, give me my, a revelation of my legal grounds on the matter. Uh, give me a revelation of my legal grounds on the matter. Father, in the matchless name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you that because of what happened on the cross of Calvary, what we lost in the Garden of Eden through disobedience, we gained back on the cross of Calvary in the Garden of Gethsemane. On the cross of Calvary, we gained it back through the obedience of Christ. And I thank you, King of Glory, that you have made us core heirs with Christ. Whatever Christ gained back for us on that day, we are partakers of. Father, I thank you. I thank you that this morning you are giving every person connected to this broadcast a revelation of their legal ground on the matter, a revelation of their say in the matter. I thank you, King of glory, that because of what you have done on the cross of Calvary, we are seated in Christ, far above all powers, far above all principalities, far above all dominions, far above of all might and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the ages to come i thank you that we are above our circumstances we are above the struggles we are going through we are above that disease we are above that marital issue we are above that struggle in corporate we are above it we are above that mental struggle in the name of jesus this morning i pray that you are opening up somebody's eyes so that they receive a revelation by way of the spirit of the legal ground they have on the matter of the legal ground they have on the issue of the say they have on the matter in the matchless name of Jesus I'm praying today for somebody that has been feeling hopeless that has been feeling worthless that has been feeling like giving up feeling like putting in the towel I pray that today may you remind them that they have power your word says all of our, uh, your, your word says you have been given power. Father, uh, Father, we are co-heirs 
with you. Whatever power has been given to Jesus, we are also partakers of. As we are binding the strong man in this season, teach us to resist the enemy because your word says he will flee from us. Then teach us to take up our legal, legal ground in the name of Jesus. Any ground that is our name on it this morning, we are taking it back. Any ground that is our name on us on it this morning, we are taking it back. We are taking back ground in our finances. We are taking back ground in our relationships. We are taking back ground ground in our academics. We are taking back ground in our families. We are taking back ground in our marriages. We are taking back ground in the name of Jesus in our ministries because you have given us legal ground and we're taking it back. We're taking it back. I'm seeing somebody this morning taking back ground that belongs to them. I'm seeing somebody this morning taking back ground that belongs to them. You will no longer be tossed around by the enemy in ground that belongs to you. You will no longer be tossed around by the enemy in ground that belongs to you. That's your marriage. Refuse to be taunted by the enemy in your marriage. That's your business. Refuse to be taunted by the enemy in your business. That's your ministry. Refuse to be mocked by the enemy in your ministry. May the Lord give you revelation of legal ground you possess. In the spirit that ground has your name on it. On this earth, even the angels... They're trying to figure out what's wrong with you <laughs> because the ground is yours. Take it back. Our se second prayer point, prayer governors, I want you to, uh, uh, to say, Father, make me proficient in my legal rights as a believer. Make me a proficient Christian who understands their legal rights according to the constitution of heaven. Help me know. Help me know when I have legal rights concerning a matter. There are some of you, you let go of certain things. Things died on your watch. You let go of certain good relationships. You gave up on a good business. You gave up on a good friendship because you didn't understand your legal rights as a believer. I want you to say, Father, make me proficient in my rights as a believer. Father, this morning we pray for everybody connected to this broadcast. May you make them proficient in, in, le in their legal rights as a believer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Father, for intercessors that you are raising on this altar of prayer that understand they are rights that understand their rights, that, that understand their rights in the spirit. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, I pray for people on this broadcast that are going to start loving the word. Ah, uh, uh, there is a man in scripture that says, your words are like honey to me. They are like honey to my lips. I pray that the word becomes so sweet that they begin to love the word with everything inside of them because their destiny is locked up in this word i pray that you make your people proficient in legal rights they possess in the matchless name of jesus i pray that they will not be shaken out of their possessions they will not be they will not be their destiny will not be stolen from them because they don't have an appreciation of the legal ground they have in the matchless name of jesus make them proficient in their legal rights as believers that's right. You have legal grounds on the matter. If you open your constitution, the Bible, uh, you, you have legal grounds on that matter. That's right. That's right. I want us to pray this prayer, prayer governor. I want you to say, Father, give me courage to exercise my legal rights as a believer. Give me the audacity. Give me the courage. Give me the boldness to stand and contend for the issues that are happening in my life. I love the power of collective prayer, but one thing I will always emphasize on, on this particular platform here, is you must learn to pray for yourself. That's why even sometimes when I'm praying for people, I say, I want to also hear you pray.
Because I'm not sent on assignment to make a product out of prayer. There are people and ministries that have made a product out of prayer. There is a certain amount of money you pay to be prayed for. This is because we have allowed them by not knowing our legal ground, by not know, knowing our legal rights on the matter. Who am I speaking to this morning? Who am I speaking to this morning? I want you to say, Father, give me courage. Give me boldness. Give me audacity. From today onwards, begin to train me on how to exercise my legal rights as a believer. I'm tired. I'm tired of always calling people to pray for me. I'm tired. I'm tired of always waiting for Sunday for my pastor to pray for me. I'm tired. I'm tired of always looking for people that I think have more power than me. I have legal grounds on the matter. So, Father, I thank you. I thank you that every person connected to this broadcast this morning, you are baptizing them with a new sense of courage, a new audacity in the spirit to exercise their legal rights as a believer. I thank you, King of Glory, that none of us shall be strangers in the courts of heaven. That we will daily step into the courts of heaven and legislate concerning our matters. That we will daily step into the courts of heaven in prayer and begin to place order into some circumstances in our lives that are coming out of order. I pray that you make us proficient intercessors. I pray that you make us bold and courageous intercessors who know their legal rights in the spirit. People who are taking up legal space in the spirit in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to make a prophetic declaration that every person that connected to this broadcast, the Lord is giving you the grace to take up legal ground in every area you have been struggling with in your life. The Lord is giving you, uh, he, is, he is going to begin to train you to take up legal ground in every place you have been struggling with in your life. The places you thought you were weak. The places you had given up on. The places you had just decided, maybe this is just who I am. No, God is giving you the power to take up your legal ground in that place. In the name of Jesus, you have a say in the matter. I want you to type, I have a say in the matter. I want you to type it prophetically. I have a say in the matter. Life is not just happening to me. I have a say in the matter. So today I'm choosing to take up my legal, legal ground. I'm choose, I'm choosing to embrace the fact that this legal jurisdiction has been given to me and I need to run it. I'm, I, I am going to be a good steward of this corner of the world that God has given to me. My business, I have legal jurisdiction over. My marriage, I have legal jurisdiction over. My finances, I have legal jurisdiction over. My ministry, I have legal jurisdiction over. My children, I have legal jurisdiction over. I'm in charge here. <laughs> I'm in charge. By the time you send us messages and you say, woman of God, I caught someone in my house. They said they had come to bewitch me. We, we must come there and you must, we must see that you have done some work there. We are just there for reinforcement. We want to step in your house and we want to just fold our hands and watch you do what God has anointed you to do. Because you have learned how to take legal ground in your life. When your child is sick, by the time we come, we are just coming to support we want to watch you at work. We want to watch the expressions of the power of God at work manifesting themselves through you. Why? Because you are in charge there. You are in charge. That's your legal jurisdiction. We just came to watch the power of God at work through you. Who am I speaking to this morning? By the time your pastor arrives at that place, your child must be, must be playing. 
That's how he knows he has been treating you. He has been teaching you well. Your child must be outside uh, playing. And he will ask, but I thought you said this child was not breathing. And you say, you say to, the, to, to, to your pastor, uh, pastor, you have taught me to be in charge here. Yeah. <laughs> the past five years I've been under your ministration. You have been teaching me to be in charge. I, I just called you so that you can seal the deal, but I am in charge here. I thought you said the child was about to die. Yes, it's true. Two hours ago, he was about to die. But I laid hands on him. I, I put some olive oil on that head. I, I resisted the devil and I cast him out of town. We just need you to come into agreement with us. But I want you to know that concerning my household, I'm in charge here. This is my legal jurisdiction. By the time you are calling us, Asking us to visit your office in corporate. Friend, I need you to come into my workplace. There is so much, uh, so much, so many things happening in there. Uh, 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 there is so much happening. I need you to come to my office. Pretend like you are visiting me. And then I want us, I, I want you to leave a prayer in my office. By the time we come there, I want you to say, listen, listen, woman of God, you are here, but I want you to know that uh, things are under control here. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I am in charge. I understand my legal jurisdiction. I understand my legal ground. I, I have been fixing some matters in prayer here. I, I have been making some dangerous prayers in this office. I am in charge here. I just need you to come into agreement with me. But I don't worry. The groundwork is done. <laughs> the groundwork is done. Don't worry. Chipo is laughing. Don't worry, woman of God. We are in charge here. I understand my legal ground. I understand the legal jurisdiction God has given me. By the time you are calling us and inviting us into your home as a couple, you should be able to say, ah, we went through a difficult patch. We went through some struggles, but don't worry. We are in charge. We're in charge here. Maui is laughing. Don't worry. As a couple, we are in charge here. We are just calling so that you can come into agreement with us and you can, you know, agreement is always a good thing. Wherever two or three are gathered, God is in their midst. 